rehab here at Hunt County Regional is the right place for Troy Duro right now. I had the want to get up, but my body wouldn't let me. It was just two weeks ago that being at the wrong place at the wrong time put him here and a mother in this state. I'm probably more still numb. Going to a scene, that's the hardest thing. Trying to see your family, your son. It happened here in Rockwall on February 24th. Troy was coming home from the bank. He had a green light and was nearly home. I look to the left of me and all I see is a SUV just barreling towards me. Rockwall tells us that SUV was stolen and running from Rockwall County Sheriff's deputies. It ran a red light and slammed into his white Kia. Troy is who police call an innocent third party, who Suzanne calls her first child. I've only watched the video once. My husband's like, you don't want to. It is hard to see for several reasons, but it shows enough to know this could have ended very differently. Basically, my entire left side had been enveloped in the door. Rockwall Sheriff's tells us the high-speed chase lasted less than a minute. They say their chase policy is at the discretion of the deputies dispatched. Why are you running from the police officer? It's selfish. It's completely selfish. The driver is Michael Brew. He faces a number of felonies, from unauthorized use of a vehicle to evading arrest to aggravated assault. You get what you get, really. The due process is gonna do its work. Beyond the visible scrapes, there are multiple broken bones and recovery may take months. Troy is thankful mm -hmm. for a lot of things. His family, yeah. his care, his life. You never know what you have until you lose it. In Rockwall, I'm Jobin Punnaker.